Will we see another miracle in Miami? It's the coach. This is week two of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, a second straight home game to begin the year for the Miami Dolphins as they square off with their AFC East rivals, the New England Patriots. We can only hope this year's game has as good a finish as last year's game-winning double lateral. But for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, we are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the side of their Dolphins emerging from the Hard Rock Stadium tunnels, and we are ready to go as the Dolphins get set to match up with the New England Patriots. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. They come in off a loss in the season opener, which doubled as the home opener. And when you lose that way, at home, season opener, it almost feels like two losses. So it's a big fight to get yourselves ready to go to play the next week. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. The children will grow, and it's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Patriots come out led by the four-time Super Bowl MVP and owner of a record six Super Bowl rings. Arguably the greatest to ever play the game, Tom Brady. And we keep asking the same questions every year. How much longer can he keep doing this? Is this the year the dynasty crumbles? And every year, Brady comes out and leads his team to the Super Bowl. They've been there now three years in a row, and only one team has made it four. That's the Buffalo Bills. But remember, they lost all four in the early 90s. Super Bowl hero, it's James White. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Brady. And this one brought in by Sanu. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one and New England has a first down. Mohamed Sanu is a guy that is often overlooked because he just quietly goes about his business. But how about last season? Had a career high 838 yards on 66 catches. And he can also play Wildcat quarterback for you as well. Wait, 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First down, here's White. He's got the first down and more past midfield. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Even from up here in the booth, the play-by-play -play guy could tell that there was some pretty good blocking on the right side of the line. Well, you have good eyes, and it's almost like a ballet when it's executed that well. Everyone in the right spot, everyone in sync, everyone hitting the perfect notes. A little more percussion and a lot more yeah. bass, I would think, than you get your normal ballet. But at the same time, that was well executed. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. They go right back to right here on first down. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Throwing on second and 14. Brady, that's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. That catch good for five. It's third down. And now we take a peek at the Patriot offense. And the big story, of course, no Rob Gronkowski at tight end. Who's going to step up for the big-time playmaker? Who's going to give Tom Brady the security blanket that he used to have from big number 87? they got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. We won it! From the gun, it's Brady. And a dump off to White. And down inside the 15 he goes. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 13-yard line. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to you know, change up their timing, they're just going to get shredded, as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> if, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. Wait, that 53! Watch the curl, watch the curl, watch the curl. Get him! Into the red zone, it's Brady. This is caught, and they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. This is one thing you can't do with Tom Brady. Let him get in a rhythm, let him get rolling early. Every time you talk about Tom Brady or any other great quarterback, you always talk to the defensive guys and they say, you got to get him off his spot. What they mean by that is... And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Benjamin Watson, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. They're the favorite, no question. And when they score like that on the opening drive to set the tone, you're the underdog on the other bench. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, because you can't bring the home crowd into it because you're counting on that to be a part of your equalizer, ride their momentum. But you have to give them something to cheer for. So now what you're worried about is they're better than we are. We can't get going. Are we about to get blown out? Good news, still a long way to go. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Dolphins now under first-time head coach Brian Flores. They'll be led out by a man who was undrafted out of Buffalo, standing at six foot seven. It's Tyree Jackson. And I'll bet right now it's just one thought in his mind. Win, win the, the game. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, without a doubt. He played pretty well. I mean, he didn't turn over the ball in terms of interceptions, no, two right? Two touchdown passes two last touchdown week. Two touchdown passes, but when your team doesn't win, that's just hollow. 
and the best quarterbacks don't care about anything but whether or not their team won. Second year man from ASU, Kalen Balage. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Oh, yeah. On your screen now, here are the offensive starters. At wideout, Antonio Brown is certainly someone that the defense always has to account for. Without a doubt, a true number one receiver. It doesn't matter to him how defenses want to cover him. He sees it as a challenge and knows how to defeat him. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Big stop, D. Big stop. Let's go. Jackson. And he slings one that's incomplete. The starters defensively now for the Patriots. And they're a tough unit to throw against. Curly, fourth toughest in the NFL. And hey, they were stingy in the opener. Didn't allow much of anything at all through the air. So now they come into week two saying, hey, Antonio Brown, kiss him goodbye. Touchdown, Antonio Brown, his third touchdown now on the year as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week, another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime <laughs> he touches the ball. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 27. The drive starts with a run by White. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The numbers for White a week ago, 14 carries and even 60 yards and a touchdown. And I know that last week's game is over, but this feels almost like a continuation of what he did in the previous game. It's almost as if in his mind, he knitted together the two weeks with no break. He's off to a nice start here. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. On second down, they'll run with White. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Call that a very strong gain of 24. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Wow, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. Think he gunned down a few guys? Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Don't get 
Brady gives this to White. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Seven, seven, our score after one. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Shotgun now for Brady. And he'll have his man, that's Edelman. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 20 yard line. Brady's got his guys first and 10, and he's completed all seven of his passes thus far. Running out of the gun with White. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. On second down, it's White. White's got a first down and more. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. James White, his second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. A reminder coming up later tonight, Sunday night football, a good one from Atlanta. Eagles and Falcons, 8-20 Eastern. And then tomorrow on Monday night football, Odell Beckham back in New York, back in MetLife Stadium. Browns and he's got daylight. He's at the 40. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Corey Grant. His first touchdown of the new season as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. They blitzed defensively there, but he was able to slip through that first layer, and then he was gone. I think they won the leverage game, didn't they? Yes. Right? They saw the blitz coming. That got to him a little bit, but they leveraged it perfectly and found not just a crease, a gigantic hole. And off he goes, and he's still going all the way to the end zone. Extra point up and good by Sanders. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. The run on first down gets him a couple up to the 27. Vince Beagle, the one to bring him down. That's what I'm talking about. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. A quick throw there out to Jeffrey. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. On second and 11 now, Brady. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. When we talk about Akeem Tlaib, technique is not the word that comes to mind, but don't worry about that. This guy anticipates as well as anyone in the league, and he did just that, picking off another pass. They'll run on first down. It's Grant. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. They'll run here with Belage. Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. 
You don't see that a ton, do you? Or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is... Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. That's not one that he's going to want to remember, but he had to get it out of the way at some point, his first career interception. And if he's the guy that they think he is, he's not laughing it off, but he's also not going to let it affect him as the game proceeds. He's going to go back out there, still be the same confident kid, the reason that they drafted him, and go out and play. From the 39, Brady. This short throw caught by Goddard. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, that he's into the clear. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Corey Grant with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game, as his guys are able to regain the lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And it'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is now 21-14. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. Now he's having himself a little bit of a banner game. His team right now, though, losing. Needs a little bit of help. And I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score. And sometimes your strategy is, okay, he can go ahead and have all of his points. Let's hold down everyone else. And that's the way you win the game. And right now, he needs everyone else to start scoring quote unquote as he's been yeah and he's hoping to keep it close so maybe they can keep it on the ground not start to go through the air as much another throw on second down and this one incomplete as well it was a safety Rashad Jones that time who was able to break up the play so back to back incompletions and that has him staring at a third and ten on third down a run from White and a good job defensively they stop him short of the first at the 32 now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here is away. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now.
First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try to move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up. And going to halftime, looking at each other, wondering what if. Got him in. It's Brown. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. As they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. On first and 10, it's Jackson. It's caught by Clyde Walford. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Throwing again on second down, Jackson. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening week hit. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll kick things off with a rematch of Super Bowl 25. Buffalo making one of two visits to MetLife Stadium this year. This one to take on the New York Giants. And it's the Bills who lead that one late in the second quarter. Josh Allen has thrown two touchdown passes. Next, we'll stay in the Northeast as we head down to FedEx Field in Washington to check in on the Redskins. And you can see they trail the visiting Cowboys. Two touchdown passes there for Dak Prescott. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world and see what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. And you can see there is the visiting Colts who have the lead in that one. T.Y. Hilton, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on. Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Jackson. This will be caught by Brown. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49. A gain of just two. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to get this one down to the 45 third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now Jackson looking to throw on third over the middle here to Brown and he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 30 so first and 10 now from the 30 and for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. 
Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense... The way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some... Trying to squeeze it into Edelman, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. Edelman was the intended target. Nice pick, nice pick. So that right there was his second pick, but keep in mind, this is a guy who once had a rare three interception game in his career. So what are you saying, that getting two in a game is like kick stuff for him? That's nothing, he's already Amateur done that, hour. right? Been there, done that. You know he wants a third again. And able to work his way down to the 16. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Throwing is Jackson. And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Dolphins use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Go, go, go. To throw is Jackson. Dancing and a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Brady, a quick throw out to Edelman. It's a loss of two, now third down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way, lost yardage. No, for some reason it seems to work better when you throw it downfield and you move the ball down. And Brady gonna be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. He's on quite the interception run. He had two last week, another one here. Remember, he's not a DB, he's a linebacker. But how many of those linebackers started as DBs and pumped themselves up into being linebackers? So the ball skills are the same, right? The coverage skills and responsibilities are the same, and he has painted off in a big, big way. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. John Simon in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. 
It's a gain of seven on the carry, but they'll need to double that here. It's third and 14. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. There's Jackson on third and long. And Brown's got it. Touchdown, Miami. Antonio Brown, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of his NFL thing pretty quickly. That three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. At the 29-yard line. Sugar, sugar! Opting to run again here with White. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They lost two there, and it's third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing his Brady on third down. He's got Sanu. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A gain of 22. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. From midfield, here's Brady. He's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Throwing again. Brady. That's to his running back, Sony Michelle. And that's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and still the play, that's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. Here's Sanu on the catch. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 30. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. Brady's throw there complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Alshon Jeffrey, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Patriots get a score closer. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move, when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort, at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put some Something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find him. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Corey Grant, 42 yards. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, what a great players. performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. 
Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that will bump the lead up to 26. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn to an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. To throw again on second down. Brady, he's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. They had two tight ends in the formation on that when it looked to me like he had his pick of receivers downfield. I think he was just planning on going over the middle. That's what he did. Picked up first down, too. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 47. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Caught by Sanu. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now Brady again. He's going to let this one go deep. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man, and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Now Brady. And that will be incomplete. Another incomplete pass there. What do you take from this game offensively? Well, you know it's tough to really analyze for them because it is a team game, right? And let's be honest, though. The defense did them no favors in this one at all. Offense actually moved the ball. So, bottom line, film session, defense is going to be a real tough one for them. Offense, they'll get a little bit of praise. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good, and this score will stay right where it is. So make it two missed field goals for him now, but I have the sense, given that distance, you can probably forgive him here on this one. Yeah, this is out of the range of just about anybody on planet Earth except probably you, partner. <laughs> but you've just got to drive it out low and hope that somehow you hit it absolutely perfect. But no real chance for this one to go through. They'll keep it on the ground. Grant looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The Dolphins on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him? Maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little over confident they had blocked so well in the first half picked up on what the defense was doing i think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed brady and the patriots now first and 10 at their own 20 yard line now a throw over the middle and he's got it to start the drive give him nine there on the first down completion A 
up at the 29 now. They'll head to the line, second and a yard. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with a football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady, they'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes, and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Brady, he hits White, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. Brady now on first down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the linebacker, Raekwon McMillan. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. They can't stop me, so Defensively, they've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even more lopsided. I remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, what do you do when the game's like this? You know, it's pretty much over. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. <laughs> you like being out there at the end of these wide margins. When they have to throw it, that gives you more opportunities to go get it. Sanders on for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by the linebacker, Raekwon McMillan. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. The corner, Stephon Gilmore on the stop. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Now a handoff here to his running back. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. They'll stay on the ground. Barrage again. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So for the Dolphins, they at least get the win here to earn a split of their first two home games. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, for New England, they will fall to one and one. And they'll try again next week at home against New England. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.
Tell me what you want, what you need, tell me what you wanna give me.